So what's the expected value of a continuous variable? Now we know from an expected value of a, a discrete variable used to be sum of x fx. Uh, here we can't just sum so we have to do the um, integration so um, integral of x into fx dx will give you the expected value of x so and and it has to be from negative infinity to to positive infinity so for example we take a exponential distribution and its pdf is given by 1 upon lambda e to the power minus x over lambda this is the exponential pdf with a parameter of lambda so its expected value is going to be minus infinity to plus infinity x upon lambda e to the power minus x into lambda dx this is the formula for the expected value now what about variance we know that variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x square now we know that expected value of x is lambda so this becomes lambda square and what is this this is x square fx dx so which becomes x square upon lambda e to the power minus x upon lambda dx and integrating it leads to 2 lambda square so you what you get here is the variance of x for an exponential distribution is 2 lambda square minus lambda square that becomes lambda square and the standard deviation becomes lambda so for an exponential distribution the for an exponential distribution the mean is lambda and standard deviation is lambda so uh, the next is what is the uh, what how do we uh, do this for uniform random variable so for uniform random variable suppose x is a uniform random variable with a distribution of a b which basically just means that there is a and this is b and the pdf is fx is equal to 1 upon b minus a and 0 otherwise where x is more than or equal to way less than or equal to b which is the fx which is really all that means is the total area is 1 <coughs> b minus a will be this so this, this is the fx which is the height of it now we know that the pdf has to integrate to 1 so minus infinity and plus infinity fx dx will be 1 but since we are only integrating it from a and b because outside this and this is going to be 0 we can also change it to change this to a and this to b now now let's see if there is a here and uh, b here and there is an area here which is c and d and probability of c being or x being more than or equal to c and less than or equal to d will going to be integrating between c 
and d fx dx so what what it essentially comes down to is d minus c upon b minus a which is the length of the interval out of the total length but you can integrate it also uh, after putting the fx here and integrating it between c and d <coughs> that will give you the probability okay uh, so what is the expected value of x expected value of x is going to be x fx dx and that can be a to b x since the uh, <coughs> uh, fx is 1 upon b minus a b minus a dx which <coughs> you integrate it so then it will give you uh, b plus a upon 2 which is really just the midpoint it becomes the uh, expected value of x but what about the variance of x variance of x is the same formula expected value of x square minus expected value of x square expected value of x we know is b plus a upon 2 but how do we calculate expected value of x square that is going to be an integration against a to b and x square 1 upon b minus a dx now you um, can use some complex uh, calculus to solve it but ultimately it comes down to to the variance of x is going to be b minus a upon 12 square so the standard deviation becomes b minus a upon so that is the variance of x for a uniform distribution and that is the standard deviation and this is the expected value of x for a um, uh, uniform distribution and uh, and the expected value of um, uh, for uh, for exponential distribution these are the expected value and the standard deviations now we have a question which is a random variable a random variable x has a pdf of fx is equal to 1 minus x and the uh, x is more than minus 1 and uh, how to write this thing minus 1 so x is more than minus 1 but x is less than plus 1 uh, so uh, that is uh, the absolute value of x is over there what is the variance of x since f of x is equal to 1 minus x it can be 1 plus x if x is less than 0 because if it x is less than 0 it will become positive so it will become 1 plus x if x is less than 0 and it will become 1 minus x if x is more than 0 so <coughs> to calculate the variance of x you're gonna have to do expected value of x square minus expected value of x 
x square. So uh, what is the expected value of x? That is going to be, because there are two of these, that is going to be a sum of this. So you have to go from minus 1 to 0, which is less than 0. And then you will do x, and fx is 1 plus x dx plus, and then you will go from 0 to plus 1. And now you're going to write, because this is the different <coughs> fx for both of them. So it will going to be minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, that is going to be 0. So expected value of x is 0. So expected value of x square is also going to be 0. But then, as it always is, you have to calculate expected value of x square. Now again, you're going to do minus 1 to 0 x square 1 plus x dx plus 0 1 x square one minus x dx that is going to get you one by twelve plus one by twelve that is going to give you one by six so variance of x is going to be one by six minus zero or one by six or 0 0.166.